Right, it's working today. <laughs> okay, welcome to another um, session with Sid. This is Learn with Sid every day um, at 3.30 on YouTube. So I've got another light here, which I think is shining on my, on my face at the moment, but it's just so I can illuminate what I'm doing a bit better because it's always dark on my, um, on my desk. So guys, we're gonna do some abstract art today. We're on session 21. We're gonna be looking at how we can create a lovely abstract piece of artwork um, using any paints that you've got at home. So it doesn't matter whether they're watercolors. So I've got some watercolors over here. So I'm gonna be showing you with a range of different paints. We've got watercolors. You could be using poster paints. You could be using acrylic. So I've got some acrylic over here as well that I'm going to be using. So what you need for this session is some thick paper or a sketchbook. So I've got a sketchbook pad over here. The pages are thicker. You need it to be slightly thicker than normal paper because you'll rip the paper apart. Um, if you've got a canvas, that's even better. But if not, if you can get a sketchbook paper or even thick cardboard, that should work. You're going to need some masking tape. OK, so I've got some self, my, uh, got myself some masking tape. Um, you could try using normal tape. I can't guarantee it's going to work the same way. But if you don't have masking tape at home, try with normal tape. OK, you're going to need some paint brushes and a container with water. And I've got my classic beaker because I'm a scientist um, and we're going to get going. So let's see who's signed in. We've got um, who's watching. Nicola's watching. Yay, we are here. Well done. I think it's your first session, isn't it? We've got Rebarb. Hi, if you're watching, give me a shout out and let me know who's watching and where you're watching from, guys. So today we're going to be looking at abstract art. So you must have seen artwork pieces selling for thousands and millions of pounds and they're just squares and triangles and they're really nice and colorful so we're going to have a go at creating one of our own and maybe one of you guys is going to create a masterpiece while we're on lockdown so let's have a look at what we're going to be doing today so let me just share my screen um, so you can see what i'll be doing um two seconds and we are going to be sharing now so hopefully it's a bit better lit than it has been so i'm trying to play around with lighting um so let's see what we're going to be doing so first of all what i need you to do is to get a bit of your masking tape okay and we're going to be covering our so i've got a fairly small book over here if you've got like an a4 one you're probably going to use more masking tape than i am just got that stuck to itself there for a second um okay so i'm going to take a bit of masking tape with masking tape you can just tear it um, and then what you need to do is on your table um, you need to place it on your table and you need to make it less sticky so I'm going to do this about seven times so I'm peeling it off from my table that's two you've got three you've got Jake and Emily are the kids names we are near Cambridge UK thank you for watching guys I'm gonna love seeing your final pieces I think I've done that seven times now okay so we've done this seven times and we're going to be covering part of our book with this masking tape. So I'm going to cover, fold that over the edges. Um, these are going to create the different um, layers on our picture. So we want to do blocks of colour and then we'll, we want to have uh, blocks where there is no colour. So this is quite thick. I don't know if you can see that because my lighting is so bright. I've got a thick bit of masking tape going across. But I think this is going to be too thick. Um, so you can use some, if you've got some scissors to cut the masking tape up. So I'm going to make this thinner, I'm going to cut it halfway through because I've just realized how thick it actually is. And it's not going to give me the effect that I want to create. If you're working on a bigger piece of paper, it should be fine. But because I'm working on an A5 piece of paper, then I want my lines to be slightly thinner. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is create a crisscross and you want some of the lines to be overlapping with each other. So I've created that's overlapping with this one. You can't see that with the, I think I've lit it up too much now. You can't see where my masking tape is. Let's see if I can make this slightly dimmer so you guys can see a bit better. Don't think that really helps. Doesn't really help. All right, so I'm going to create another one going across. So what I'm doing is using the masking tape to mark off where I don't want the paint to go. And I'm going to create lots of shapes like this with the masking tape. So I've got one over here, one over here, got one going across over there. Let's use some more paint 
um, masking tape. And I'm going to then use paint to cover those areas. And I don't have to worry about going over the lines. So one thing when you're painting is you can't get a nice, I didn't, I didn't um, stick this on my table to make it less sticky. That's going to cause issues a bit later. One thing that when you're painting is you can't always get some nice fine lines. Um, and using masking tape or even masking fluid. So I've got masking fluid that I use in some of my paintings. Um, and that marks off areas where you don't want the paint to go. Okay. So remember, each time you put the masking tape, do kind of make it unsticky a bit because this is going to be really sticky. It's going to tear off the paper now. So, right, I'm going to cut this up halfway along again. So we're going to cover your piece of paper by lots of triangles and rectangular shapes created with this masking tape. Okay, so I'm going to do one like this. And that one's on its own, so I'm going to create that into a triangle. Um, that's going to turn into a triangle. Let's do it here. Okay, so I've got a triangle here, I've got a large rectangle over here, and you want to cover and create really sharp lines with your masking tape. Okay, so you can be as adventurous as you like. Uh, you might want to just take a bit of masking tape and put it on its own without it connecting to anything, because that could be like a, a blank piece which doesn't get coloured in when you paint. Um, so with this one, I'm going to cut this into a square. And I'm going to put the square in the middle of that shape over there. And you really got, I think you can see my masking tape, maybe not as good as you should be. So I'm going to cover off that corner because I don't want that colored in. So that corner's covered. And then I think I'm going to have one more line over here. Maybe split that one up as well. So let's take a bit more masking tape. So have some fun creating some shapes and they're all going to have straight lines. They're not going to have any circles. You're going to have straight line shapes on your piece of paper. And this is a really nice and easy way to create abstract art. It's a bit different from what we've been doing in the last couple of weeks for art because we've stuck to craft based materials and making things. So if you've just joined in, you might want to have a look at the craft flowers that we did. They were really popular. Lots of people have watched that. Um, the Scrofito was really popular as well. Um, what else was it? Oh, the magic pictures are really cool. So you might wanna go and watch the magic pictures and create a magic picture. Right, so I've got one there. Let's have one over here. Right, I think I'm gonna leave that one as a big one. Okay, so I covered my paper on masking tape with masking tape. Now you need to make sure that the, that masking tape is nice and secure so it doesn't have any little gaps. You can see my henna, I've been doing some henna. Um, so you don't want any gaps um, and you want it nice and flat, as flat as, as you can possibly get it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is to grab some paint and color each of these different boxes with that paint. Now, it doesn't matter if you go over the masking tape, just don't go into another area because the masking tape is stopping the paint from going onto that area. Now, the trick here is if you're using watercolor paints, do not make it too wet because the wetter it is, the more likely it is to soak underneath your masking tape, okay? So I've got my paintbrush, I've taken off the um, excess water off my paintbrush, um, but you need a bit of water to get a color. So I'm gonna get this orangey red here. And you want thick paint, okay? So you don't want it to be too watery. So I keep going over so it's nice and thick. You can actually see the color on the paintbrush. And I'm gonna go over this shape over here. Now, it doesn't matter if you go on the masking tape, And I want to get a block color. Nice and block. Look at that. It's nice. It looks like it doesn't even look like watercolor because it's so dark. Okay. And it doesn't matter that you've gone on the masking tape as long as you're not going into a different area. Okay. So I'm going to do another color. So halfway through, I'm going to swap with to some acrylic paints to show you what you can do if you've got acrylic or poster paints. So I'm gonna do, let's do this green, this dark green. 
So again, you, want, you don't want to get too much water. You want more colour. So I'm going to put as much colour as I can. And look, my paintbrush has gone up green now. And I'm going to fill in this area over here. This is the one which has got the square box. Okay, fill it in. And you don't want to leave any white areas in, in the box that you're colouring in. I might need some more water because it's not come out as... Put too much water now. Look at that. I've made it too watery. This is what you don't want. You don't want it to be this watery because it's not going to work as well. I'm going to lift that page up so it doesn't go on the other pages. Made it too watery now. See, my red was the right consistency. This green is too watery. So it might not work as well. Okay, so you can see the square box there that's been coloured in as well. Right, let's do one more watercolour and then I'm going to do some acrylic paint. And let's do this blue. And I'm going to fill in this big area over here. Don't think I took all my green off properly. I can see a bit of green coming through. Colour it all in and you want to try and get as... Um, I'm going to add a bit of water to get more colour. You want to get as block a block colour. You don't want there to be any variation in the colour. Try and get a block colour. Fill that in. Fill in any little white gaps between the shape and your masking tape. So here, let's fill that in. Now I don't want it to go on the other side of the pages. So I'm just going to lift that page up slightly. To not ruin my um see I've added more water now. It's gone too watery again. So it's tricky getting the right consistency. Let's colour that in. And we are done. Okay, so that is My blue. Now you can see my brush stroke marks with the, with the paintbrush. So you can try and make them all go the same way so they look neater. Okay. All right, let's try some with some acrylic paint. So I've got a palette over here. It's a it's a palette pad. Okay, so you just take off the sheets as and when you use it. So I've got, let's see, I've got some yellow. So I'm gonna get some yellow over here. Let's do some yellow first. Now, the thing with acrylic is acrylic is nice and thick and vibrant. So it's easy to do um, abstract work, but you still need to get a bit of water in there. So a bit of water. And I think I didn't clean my paintbrush because it's still turning into green now, like a really dark green. I'm going to color this bit in. And you'll be able to get a nice vibrant color. So with poster paint as well, you should be able to do this cover dot um, a large area with one block color. Okay, so we're going to do that. Go to the edge of the page. Okay, so I've completely color colored it. Looks good. Okay, so next what we're going to do is to get another acrylic color. Let's see, I've got this kind of orangey color. Now you can mix some colors together to get more colors if you want. So what I'm gonna do, cause I've got loads of yellow out here. I might mix a bit of the orange into the yellow to get a slightly different shade. I'm just gonna clean my paintbrush first and then I'm gonna mix these two together to get halfway, it's like a goldy color now. Got a goldy color there. I'm going to color in this bit over here. So you can see it's a different, it's, a, it's not the same yellow. So this is a goldy color. And then another one I could do an orange. So you can mix up some colors together and see what you get. Now, in our art club, we looked at the color wheel. So you can make a color wheel as well. Let's do an orange. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be bright orange. You can see it's a different shade there. Let's fill that all in. You can use the same colors again. So at the moment I've used all different colors, but I think I'm gonna do another, cause I don't wanna waste my color. So let's do this orange as well. So 
and then I might get uh, some acrylic blue and you'll see the difference between the acrylic and the watercolor. So you can have fun creating your own designs and seeing what works really well. Okay, so different paint works di uh, differently um, with different paper, so it'll look different. Well, on canvas, you won't be able to use watercolor as, as well, uh, but acrylics will work really nicely on canvas. Right, so I've got some blue over here now. Let's do this bit blue. And just be careful, if you are using acrylic, acrylic doesn't come off clothes. So if you leave it to dry, it will dry and it will never come off. I've got loads of clothes. I've got lots of acrylic on, lots of drops of acrylic and it won't come off. Now, once you've painted everything, you need to leave it to dry. Now, because I'm short of time, I'm just gonna show you what happens, what, what you need to do after you've, um, you've let, allowed it to dry. So you need to allow it to dry. And then what we gotta do is to peel off the masking tape. Okay, so this is a bit where you try and not rip off um, the paper, but you will get an amazing sharp line. Look at that amazing sharp line if you've uh, used your masking tape properly and if it hasn't seeped through. So let's see if it worked with the green there. So if I peel that off. Now, this was the one where I didn't actually get the unsticky bit off. So it might uh, see it's ripping off. It is ripping off my paper. This is why it's important that you actually um, it's ripped off some of the paper. Right, so wait for it to dry and then start peeling off. So let's see what my abstract art looks like. It's still a bit wet for me. Ooh, it's looking good so far. Ooh, looking good. Let's see if I peel that one off over here. Wow, look at that fine lines. Uh, rip the paper there. I think that was one of the ones where I didn't take the stickiness off. Okay. See, I quite like how the acrylic looks because it's block color here. You can see the brush strokes um, with the watercolor, but you can experiment depending on what paint you've got at home. Okay, let's see if I can take this one off. And every picture you make is going to be different. And that's the beauty of something like this. No two pictures are going to be completely identical because you won't be able to get the um, masking tape in the same place. Okay, look at that. How cool does that look? So this is a bit where I ripped it off. Still got a bit of masking tape over here. Let's see if I can take that off. Brilliant. Okay, once you've taken off your masking tape and it's finished, don't forget to add your name. So I'm gonna get my marker pen. I'm gonna add my name over here, Sid. And then don't forget to write hashtag art with Sid, submit your entries in. You've got until seven o'clock today because I'm working a bit late. Um, get your entries in and I will compile into a video of your finished work. So this is my abstract piece of work. It looks quite cool, isn't it? It's really effective. Um, try not to rip the paper. So I ripped the paper here. So this isn't as finely cut as all of these areas over here. And if you can see, that was quite thick. So these are the ones where I've cut the masking tape in half and that's the right size for this paper. If you're working on A4, then I think that size would probably be fine, but have some fun creating some abstract art. And I look forward to seeing what color combination you guys use, but it's a nice fun activity. Um, so have fun, don't, don't create too much mess though guys. And I'll look forward to seeing your images. You can submit, submit your images in on Facebook or you can email me. The email is gonna be in the link in the details section. If it's not on this video yet, you can check it on the other videos. So I'll speak to you guys soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're back to science, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna to be looking at a science topic um, 3.30 on YouTube. So I'll see you guys soon.